Hello. In this video, we're going to ask the user to enter a series of numbers, and we are going to work out what the average of those numbers is. So this is an example of how we use pseudocode in maths. So we want to know the quantity. Uh, now I'm just going to call that variable quantity, and I'm going to assign the value, which is going to come from an input from the user. Um, how many numbers uh, will you enter? There we go. So that is, yep. So that's going to create that quantity. Then I'm going to have a for loop, and I'm going to say for i equals, and I'll use that sign there, 1 to quantity. So however many they put in, if they want to add 10 numbers, then it's going to go through this loop 10 times. Now, to close off this, I'm going to say next i, so that it's going to um, move forward by 1, and then I'm going to say end for. So, Whatever is inside this loop will happen 10 times. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm, I want to get the total of them. So I'm going to get this thing called new number, and it is also going to come from an input. Um, enter number. There we go. So they will enter that number, and then I will say that total equals total plus whatever new number is. So the first time they run this, total will be zero. Now, just to make this program a little bit better, I'm going to define that the total starts as zero. You wouldn't necessarily have to do that, but it's good practice. So let's say we run it for the first time, they put in five. Well, now the total's five. They run it again and they put in 10. Well, the total goes up to 15. So by the time it runs all that many times, we will have a total. So let's print that and say, um, you entered, so, goodness, I'm doing a bad job there. You entered, well, how many numbers did they enter? Well, they entered I numbers, I. Now, I'm going to say that I want that to be a string. I wouldn't necessarily have to, I could just say I, but I don't think it's a bad idea to say that I'm declaring that as a string. You entered this many numbers. Um, and the average was, and this is where we have to do a little bit of maths. So I'm just going to call that, there we go, numbers, and the average was, and I'm going to say that it's this variable here called average, which I have not yet worked out. So I'm going up here, and let's work out what average is. Well, average is going to equal uh, the total, which I have because I've been counting it up, divided by the quantity. There we go. And if I wanted to be particularly clever about this, I might redefine average so that it is average round, so I'm rounding it to two decimal places. So this is a very simple program where we just to go through it again. We ask them a question and store how many quantity, how many numbers do you want to enter? we set our total at zero. Then we go through that many times. So if they enter 10, we're going to collect 10 numbers. If they enter five, we're going to collect five numbers. We're going to do that many times and we're going to keep adding to our total. And then we're going to work out the average by the total divided by the quantity. We're going to round that number and we're going to present it back to the user. So that's one example of how we can use pseudocode in maths.